Today, President Biden signed the massive trillion-dollar bipartisan infrastructure package into law. The legislation will fund the repair of the nation's aging ports, roadways, and public transit over the next five years. So how does this bill benefit us here in the Valley? Let's bring in Congressman Josh Harder, who represents Stanislaus County and parts of San Joaquin County. He was at the White House today. Thanks so much for joining us. It's a uh, after 830 there at the on the East Coast. First, let's talk about the roads and the bridges, though. The infrastructure report card, it gave California a C minus more than 1500 bridges in poor condition, more than 14,000 miles in California in poor condition. So what results can we expect here in the Valley and when can we see them? Uh, as soon as possible. Uh, this bill is a victory for common sense. Uh, frankly, most of the time people think that Washington politicians just spend their time yelling at each other and generally they're right. Uh, but this is an effort to try to find common ground. Uh, one of those bridges that you mentioned, the 7th Street Bridge in Modesto, is so dangerous that school buses are banned on traveling on it. Uh, there's bridges like that all across our state, and money is going to be going as soon as today uh, to make sure that we can upgrade our roads and bridges, invest in our long overdue water storage projects to help us get us out of this drought and more. Let's talk about wildfires a little bit here, Congressman. They seem to be getting worse each and every year. We know this bill includes investing in more firefighters and some technology, what you're calling supercomputers and satellites. So how does that help us? These wildfires are devastating. We had millions of acres burned this year. We had 60 smoke days uh, across our state in the Central Valley. Two months where kids couldn't even go outside because the smoke was so bad. And in order to deal with that, we need more people and better equipment. And this bill does both. This is going to help us hire a thousand firefighters for California, and it's going to help us make sure that we are actually investing in things like slip on uh, trucks, which can make sure that we can convert an ordinary pickup truck into a firefighting unit uh, to make sure that we can bring more tools to fight these fires and hopefully limit them to hundreds of acres instead of hundreds of thousands. And let's talk more about that because uh, there is money to transform those regular government vehicles into firefighting vehicles. Uh, I believe we have some pictures of some of these. How exactly do they work? Who's going to get them and when will we see them in use? Uh, very quickly. Uh, my hope is that some of this money for fire can go out even in the next few weeks and months. I know the Forest Service is already looking at taking those thousand folks from seasonal jobs to full time. We no longer have a fire season. We have a fire year in California, and we need to get those folks on board in the winter and early spring so they can prevent the worst from happening next summer. And this is going to do a lot of good. Uh, the best way to fight these fires is not when they're on millions of acres. It's to try to make sure that we can do that preventative maintenance ahead of time before they get so bad. I got to get ahead of them. Something that's uh, top of mind for a lot of people right now, inflation and gas prices, both out of control right now. So what are you doing in Washington to fix this? We have got to do more to fix the price of gas and the price of groceries. Uh, I filled my, my truck up yesterday or last week. It was uh, almost gave me a heart attack. It's outrageous. Five dollars uh, a gallon uh, in, in Modesto and in Turlock where, where I live. And one of the things that this bill does is it helps bring more efficiencies to our port system. We have ships the size of football fields that are waiting for months to get into port. Uh, those ships actually carry a lot of gasoline, a lot of groceries to make sure that we can bring down prices. This is a problem of supply, uh, not of demand. It's not like more folks are buying gasoline. It's more a problem that we don't have enough to go around. And so as soon as we can get those ports up and operational, I think we can hopefully uh, bring down the price that is causing so many problems across the valley. All right, Congressman, thanks so much for joining us uh, tonight here on CBS 13. Thanks for having me.